You alright? Good. Right, turns out my doctor's hilarious. Um, tell you for why. Went in there to see about getting a vasectomy done. You know, the old snip snips. And uh, normally they ask you questions like, you know, are you sure about this? Have you had kids already? Have you spoken to your wife about it? She just looked me up and down, and in her best bad news voice, said, let's just pray we've caught it in time. <laughs> Bit harsh. It was funny, so I let her off. But uh, they haven't caught it in time. I have procreated. <laughs> Three children, all girls. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I tell people that I do stand-up, that I get up on stage in front of all these people, they say, aren't you nervous, aren't you worried that you'll get booed off stage or that, you know, people will laugh at you or won't laugh at you. And I say, I live in a house with four women. I'm basically bulletproof. <laughs> You cannot kill that which is already dead. <laughs> it used to be me and the dog, because the dog's a fella. But uh, he's had his claws painted pink that many times. <laughs> had to wear that many brightly coloured bows around his neck. He's a little bit confused, or he's not that confused anymore. I've now, I've now ended up with like the wokest dog. <laughs> I go up to him and I'm like, good boy. There's a good boy. But he doesn't like it now. No, he, he looks at me like that's not quite right. Not because he now identifies as female. That's not how transgender works. It's because he's now just not comfortable with the whole concept of gender being binary. So it's just me. I'm, I'm, this, I'm just on this testosterone island in this sea of estrogen. You know, so... The other day, I'm bleeding from my arsehole. I don't know if I have hemorrhoids or if our periods have synchronized. <laughs> I've, I've taken to wanking in the shower, right? But, um, you know, uh, some people do that, you know, but it's not for hygiene and privacy reasons. I just want the little fellas to escape. Trip, trip down the water slide, day at the beach, you know, go be free, you know, but, because I'm a, you know, I, I grew up under the auspices of toxic masculinity, you know, the, the guy, you know, growing old in a quilted jacket, smoking a pipe, talking to his friends about how many women he's had sex with, that's who I wanted to be, you know. That was my aim. That wasn't some kind of crippling stereotype, and it gets into everything, right? Because, you know, obviously I don't express my emotions very well. They say that you should tell your kids that you love them all equally. You know, I do, but I don't tell them that. Like, that's not aspirational. What is there to aim for there? What I do is I tell them that I love one of them the most. I just don't tell them which one. <laughs> something to aim for, you know? They say you, didn't, they say you shouldn't lie to your kids. No, oh, that's nonsense. There are certain lies that they have to understand, you know? They have to understand that tennis balls have spiders in, that the, uh, the hazard button on the car is an ejector seat. And if they get out of bed before 7 o'clock in the morning, the monster that lives in the wardrobe will come out and break their spine. <laughs> You know, because I've got, you know, because I've got girls, I feel like now I need to become more aware of like gender issues. You know, I need to need to make sure that I'm I'm up on these things. Um, but it's difficult, you know, being the toxic man. But so I'm sat watching match of the day, and my eldest is sat next to me, and she says, "Daddy, I want to be a professional footballer." <laughs> Now, I've got a bit of a problem, because, of course, women can be professional footballers, yeah? Of course they can. But it's a living wage, bit of coaching on the side. It is not the same thing. Now, we can argue about why that is and, and you know, why that's the way it should be and shouldn't be and all the rest of it. But, you know, you want to talk about a gender pay gap, 
You know, in professional football, it's like the GDP of a small country is the gender pay gap. Yes. <laughs> Tell it, sister. I'm on top of this now. But now I've got this situation. My, my little girl's asked me this question. So she's seven years old. Now I need to try and explain to her about uh, misogyny, about how the fact that for no other reason than that she's female, she might face challenges as she grows and that it's not fair and that, and that it shouldn't be that way. But somehow it still is that way, even in this day and age. Um, but I've got to be honest with her. So I just turned to her. I said, no. <laughs> Now, of course, she had a follow-up question. She turned to me, she said, you know, with a little glisten in her eyes, she said, but Daddy, why? Oh, why? Why can't you be professional? Again, got to be honest. She says, because you're shit at football. <laughs> I'm going to finish you on this, though, because um, my middle kid is hilarious. And... Uh, I'm going to finish on a joke that she came up with. Okay, bear in mind she's five years old, so, you know. But she came up to me the other day and she was going like this. So what are you doing there, girl? She said, I'm kissing goodbye to my foreskin. <laughs> I'm thinking a couple of problems with that straight off the bat. Um, I said, what do you mean? What do you mean you're forcing? She says, well, Daddy, you've obviously forgotten, and I have forgotten. Tomorrow is my fifth birthday. Tomorrow it'll be my five skin. I've been Kevin Berry. You've been great. See you next time.